okay guys today uh, we are going to talk about the least common multiple least common multiple of any given numbers is the smallest number which is multiple of the given numbers for example we are given number here 3 and 5 we need to find the multiple of 3 and 5 so first find the multiples of uh, 3 so before we go find out the multiple of 3 and 5 if you focus on the point what we are and here least common and multiple so rather we go for uh, left to right start with the right to left first understand what is the multiples so multiples means first we find the multiple of 3 which are 3 6 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39 and so on. Similarly, let's find out the multiple of 5. which are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and so on. Ok, these are the multiples of 3 and 5. So this is the first statement. So what actually we did, I just multiply 3 by the natural number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and similarly uh, I multiply 3 and uh, by 5 as well. Now I, uh, these are the multiples of uh, 3 and 5 but if you look at here if you observe in this statement uh, what are the multiples uh, what is the common between it we need to find the common what is the common between it so the common between 3 and 5 15 here and 30 here so these are the common so first we found the multiples then we found the common then the last statement what we require here that is least com least so what is the least between it so if we see that the common multiple of 3 and 5 are 15 and 30 these are the least common uh, these are the common multiple but as we are trying to learn about what is the multiple of least multiple of that so the least multiple of 15 is least multiple of least common multiple of 3 and 5 so this is the least common multiple and this method is called the listing method this method is called the listing method but it is very difficult to find out LCM if you have a large numbers if you have a large numbers if you have large numbers so then it is very hard to find out LCM so we have another method through which we can find out uh, even we even we have big numbers we can find out easily the LCM that is called prime factorization method
or common divisor method. Or common divisor method. For example, if we have the numbers like 10 and 15. So if you go find the listing method, find the multiple of 10, then find the multiple of 15. So we can get a long list. But I'm going to find out the prime method or common divisor method. So this method also have two ways. Either you can find separately prime factors of one of each or put them together. For example, I'm finding the first of all the prime factor of 10 put in in this form like under L. Uh, a top of L. So we know that prime numbers are what? We know the prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, and so on, which are not divisible by uh, any other number except itself or 1. Or a number which have two factors, 1 and itself. That is called prime numbers. Now I'm taking here two starting with the minimum prime numbers. So then go forward next prime number. So 10 divided by 2 or what is multiply by 2 give you 10. So that is 5 or 10 divided by 2 give you 5. Then again if you look at here further it can divide by 2. No. So it cannot divide by 2. Then check by 3. No. It cannot divide by 3 as well. Then check by 5. Yes. It can divide by 5. So we left 1. Okay. So it means 10. We have 2 times 5. Which give 10. Similarly 5. Find the prime factor of 15. So start with 2, no it can't work on 2, so we go for the next prime number, we check with the next prime number which is uh, 3, 3 divided by 5, it is 5. So again divided by 5 it becomes 1. So 15 have common numbers 3 and 5. So these are the prime factor of 10 and 15. Now, what are the prime numbers? Take the maximum powers in each of the given factors, prime factors. So, LCM, as I said, take the maximum power of it. So, if you observed here, these are the common numbers and each of, one, each of them have maximum power 1. So, it means we take one of them. So, that is 5. But Two available here, not here. So that's why we take rest of the number as it is. Two and then three. Then multiply them. So three times two is six. Six times five give you thirty. So this is the least common multiple between ten and fifteen. We can do with another method even using the factorization method or the common division method. Now I'm using uh, this is the uh, factoriz prime factorization method. I am using common divisor method. In com common divisor method, I am taking together 15 and 10 and put them in the form of division. So, first of all, we again try to divide with the numbers which can be divisible by 10 and 15. But if you find at least it divide, uh, at least that number divided by the first of uh, first number. So, if we start with the 2, so 10 divided by 2, it becomes 5. But 15 cannot divide by 2, so leave 15 as it is. And go for the next prime number. 
we check next prime number is 3 so start with 3 so 3 and 5 can divisible no so leave 5 as it is and uh, 15 and 3 yes 15 and 3 divided by 5 so it becomes 5 now see what is the number common between so it means after that we go for the next prime number so divided by 5 5 1 and 1 so we will work until it makes 1 and 1 okay now whatever the numbers left on the left side in the vertical form if you multiply them so 2 times 3 times 5 he give us a 30 so this is the least common multiple between 10 and 15 hope you understand uh, these two methods the first one is called the listing method the first one is called the listing method okay in which we make the list of the multiples of the what the question are given like here we are given 3 and 5 so we found the multiple of 3 and 5 so we understood what are the multiples then after that we uh, try to understand uh, we, we understood about the common as well and then after that the point is least so we get back the least so we found the least is uh, from this equation is uh, 15 next method we have a prime factor prime factorization method or common divisor method prime factorization first you can find the prime factor of any given number like 10 and 15 we found the uh, different prime numbers like uh, 10 and again 15 then after that write in the this listing form then take the maximum common number the highest with the highest power take the maximum highest powers because 5 and 5 have the same powers we take one of them and write the rest of the number which are not common between each other so uh, we take as it is those number so after multiplying them we get the 30 and similarly uh, we go for in other method which is the common divisor method as I said that this is the common divisor so put them in the one column row so divide with the prime number minimum prime number so start with the 2 then after the check every number should divide by that prime number if not so leave as it is so like 2 divided by uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 15 cannot divide by 2 so write 15 as it is then check the next prime number we check the next prime number is 3 so 5 cannot divide by 3 so leave 5 as it is then check 15 can divide by 3 yes so write next number as it is. so now check both number can divide by 5 so make when uh, we go for until it make a 1 so whatever the numbers are given here multiply them you will get uh, LCM hope you understand uh, this question thank you very much